Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about one interesting topic, concept formation. Yes, today we are going to learn about the meaning of concept formation and its nature and types. A concept formation is the sum total of what we know about the object. It refers to the generalized ideas about the object, persons and events. It is a common name given on the basis of similarities. It is a mental disposition that helps in understanding the meaning of object or perceived earlier. Next, we are going to see about the definition of concept formation. Concept is a process of representing a common property of object or events set by Morgan. Now we move to the nature on concept formation. A concept is not static, it always changing. For example, first a child consider even a wall and door to be living things. Then it consider car, buses and running objects to be alive. Now we see the nature of concept formation. The concept is not common for all. Different persons may have different concepts about the same object events. Concept is a part of thought process. Concept can be formed without the use of language. Now we see the types of concept formation. Direct experience, indirect experience, faulty concept. First, let us discuss direct experience. Direct experience involves engaging individuals in practical activities or tasks that allow them to directly observe and participate in the mental process associated with forming concepts. This hands-on approach provides a strong understanding of how the mind categorizes information, identifies patterns, and creates mental representations of concepts. For example, participants might actively group, objects, share personal experience or work with prototypes, fostering a more immediate and experimental comprehension of the concept formation process within the field of psychology. Direct experience involved first-hand experience and observation such as interesting with dogs to understand various breeds' behaviors. Next, let us see about indirect experience. Indirect experience refer to learning about or understanding concepts through methods other than direct participation or first-hand encounters. This could involve acquiring knowledge through reading, lectures, discussion or observing others engaging in concept formation tasks. While indirect experience provide information and insights, they lack the direct engagement that hands-on activities offer. Indirect experience learning about historical events from book or documents. Next one is faulty concept. A faulty concept referred to an inaccurate or flawed mental representation of a category or idea. It can result from misconception, cognitive biases, or inadequate information processing. For instance, a stereotype can be considered a faulty concept if it inaccurately generalizes traits or behaviors. To an entire group, identifying and addressing faulty concepts is crucial for developing a more accurate understanding of the world and promoting effective cognitive processing. Next, we see process of concept formation. There are four types. Are they sensation, perception, mental image, generalization? First one is sensation. The knowledge we gain through the senses. It is fundamental activity out of attention. Second one is perception. It is the process of understanding the sensation. Third one is mental image. The existing knowledge, ideas in the form of mental image. The latest perception stored in mental image in the brain. Example, apple. When you see an apple, apple comes to your mind. Fourth one is generalization. The mind analyzes the image and synthesizes what is common to all. So today we have discussed about meaning of concept formation, definition, nature, types and process of concept formation. Thank you. Thank you.